We arrived on a beautiful place today. You ready? You ready for this? <laughs> We're having a bonfire at the beach tonight because it's like the perfect island to do it. And we all set up. We are going there. This is the story of a sailboat named Sylvia and the ragtag crew that call her home. Join us each week as we explore our planet both above and below the surface and find out what it's really like to live a life at sea. This is Expedition Drenched. This is John Ruka. He's the chief of a small village in the Solomon Islands, nestled inside one of the most picturesque bays we'd ever laid eyes on. He had been a more than gracious host to us during our stay there, and went so far out of his way to make all of us, even little Peanut, feel at home. John has a decades-long history in the cruiser community of hopping on boats and showing them around his beautiful backyard of the Florida Islands. So we thought it would be pretty cool to return the hospitality and invite him into our home to share a few adventures together. Hello, come on board, John. So how does it feel to be in Sylvia on the boat? I am happy because uh, I just go with you. Uh, young people like this and uh, you can enjoy whatever I will show it for you. We are really happy to have you. We are Thank so you. excited. Thank yeah. you very much. So welcome, feel like home. Thank you. And enjoy. I Thank hope you, you enjoy much. as much as we will enjoy you. Thank you very much. <laughs> What's the plan for the day? I can show you a good place for a scuba dive or something yeah. like that for the day. Look at this, look at this. Not even five minutes on board and they put John to work. Can you believe it? Scrub on the deck. <laughs> I think it's gonna be awesome to have him. Always like having new people brings a little bit more like a, a spicy flavor and he's he's gonna be like super cheerful. You gotta kinda have like a happy cat or around. Yeah. You know, like just somebody looking out. <laughs> yeah, he's gonna look after us better than we do so. <laughs> to have someone from the country we are visiting, it's a first on Sylvia and I think it's really interesting because we can learn a lot from the country, the culture and being close with someone like that, we'll, we'll learn a lot, that's for sure. We're going through this pass that's a little sketchy. There's these two mounds that come up and there's turbulent water. But we got some depth soundings from people that have come through here before. And we're going to send uh, the three boys, John, Will, and Itor, ahead of us in the dinghy with a depth sounder. Just making sure we're okay because we're coming through this it's a tight pass with a lot of current. So I just want to make sure that we're as safe as we can be. La 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 Des mots de tous les jours et ça me fait quelque chose. Woo! We are discovering <laughs> secret talents. Mm. We are ready to arrive on a new beautiful place. Look at that. Oh, be kind to the beggar that's inside of you and the fiend that you are. Everyone's kind of splitting up and doing their own thing. And Norea and I are going to do something that I've been wanting to do for a long time, which is taking Peanut on her first ever kayak. I built her a little box with a little shade over it because I don't want her snout to get sunburned. How you feeling, Peanut? You ready? You ready for this? <laughs> How is it, John? Good. Good? Yeah, very good. You can throw a stone. So be happy. Look at these beautiful corals, Peanut. Whoa. We are well on our way on our kayak mission. We moved Peanut into my lap and just covered her with a hat because 
she didn't really want to be under the sheet. She likes to be able to see where we're going. It's quite a beautiful spot we found here. And the water is really shallow and really, really clear. And I think we'll find some good diving and some good snorkeling. Oh, who's taking over paddle duty over here? Once our four-legged crew had gotten her exercise in for the day, the two-legged crew went diving and snorkeling all around the bay. The channel that we entered through is known as the Devil's Highway because of the ripping current that comes through the pass. Ocean currents tend to bring cooler, nutrient-rich water up from the depths, and this can encourage healthier reef systems and populations of marine life, as we were about to see for ourselves. This dive site is consistently rated in the top dive sites in all of the Solomon Islands because when the current is just right, you might be lucky enough to encounter a large local population of manta rays, as well as plenty of sharks and other big marine life. On this day, the stars didn't align for us to have a manta party, and instead we found some of the most beauty through the eye of the macro lens. Today was super chill. First day having John on board. I like his vibe already. He played a little bit of ukulele. Uh, we took like a mid-afternoon nap. So he's definitely like no stress. Excited to have him talk a story. Is that the fish that you caught? Yeah, I'm making fish. I finally shot a fish after six months. So better use every last bit of it. So is sleepy, like look. Oh. So it's like a baby human right now. There she is. I feel like this part of her body looks like she's a, a frog. Look at that. What are we about to do, Ocean? Again? I was filming in slow mo because I'm a. Oh. All right. What are we gonna do? Uh, night dive. Yeah. yeah, first night dive. Yeah, first night dive. Mm. Pretty excited about that. Yeah, because you're doing your advanced certification, huh? Yeah, that's a huge step for me, I think. Yeah. Get in there, Ocean. You got this. Night diving might be the closest thing you can get to an out of earth experience. Your senses are reduced to pure tunnel vision as your light illuminates a tiny sliver of the vast expanse of ocean around you. Colors are intensified and every small movement catches your eye. And every once in a while, you bump into another earthling that makes you question everything you know about the possibilities of life on this planet. Enter the cuttlefish. Capable of outsmarting most animals under the sea, shifting shape, texture, and color, these animals seem more in place in the imagination of a science fiction writer than right here in front of our camera lens. They are solitary creatures spending their lives camouflaged by day and preying on small fish, crabs, and shrimp by night. An internal shell called a cuttlebone distinguishes them from their equally captivating and not so distant relatives like octopus and nautilus. The cuttlefish blurs the line between reality and fantasy, 
And like many of the ocean's other creatures of the night, it's a humble reminder to us humans that no matter how much we think we understand the underwater realm, the ocean knows how to keep some pretty epic secrets. Oh, that was so much fun. That was crazy. How was it scary, Asya, on your first night dive? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, just the beginning, and then you're like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah. And it's just so cool. She forgets my name when she don't forget, when she don't forget at all. She forgets. We're going next to. Da, 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 can you show me, Will? No, I'm sitting on curve somewhere here. Who's your favorite co pilot? Co pilot? Co pilot. <laughs> Peanut! I have to say that like I am not the best planner and everyone else is always like planning and looking up stuff and I never know where we're going or anything about the places that we go and it's kind of fun because you just show up and you're like <laughs> it's a complete mystery every time. She forgets my name when she knows I know she remembers all why she forget me when I remember. Emily and I were just talking French and we were talking about how beautiful this place was and then she said something like C'est cool or Chris? Chris. Or Chris. I don't think that the French people will understand but all the people from Quebec C'est cool or Chris? <laughs> hello, hello! How are you? Good! Do you have fruits? Yeah. Yeah! Limes and, is that oranges? Yeah. What's your name? Philip. Philip. Yeah. And Nate. We'll get like five orange. And let me go to look and see how many limes yeah. I need. Um, I can do a trade for rice or sugar? Oh. Sugar. Sugar. Yeah. Perfect. All right. Oh. We'll be right back. I didn't get any of the uh, veggies I needed for tonight's dinner, but got some limes for the beers. So. How are the guys doing here? We're getting ready for our bonfire. Will's being a madman with the fish. It's about time. Gotta get the girls back. They are on shore with the piggy, hanging out with all the local kids. We arrived on a beautiful place today, uh, thanks to John. I think it's really cool to have someone on board who's local and he knows the places and I also think he's really enjoying it. He has been playing a lot of uh, ukulele and yeah, just chatting and sharing cultures. I'm really loving this island lifestyle and just enjoying everything and crystal blue waters. It's, it's stunning here. I'm uh, very grateful to be here. We're having a bonfire at the beach tonight because it's like the perfect island to do it. And we all set up, get some wood, and we are going there. We were joined by our friends Leah and Paul on board their catamaran Escape 2, who we met in Roderick Bay. They also have a YouTube channel, so check them out and give them some love. Cheers, John. Thank you. Good to have you on board. Yeah, thank you too, and I'm very happy. It's a lovely evening. Cheers. Cheers, Eva. I miss the bed you all sleep. I'm a thousand miles from coffee. Do you like peanut, John? Yeah. yeah. I love it. Look at that belly. <laughs> She's very happy. Yeah, she loves to be on the beach. Yeah. <laughs> What 
you doing, Will? I'm poking a fire. What's on the fire? Um, some of the fish we just traded with the villagers of the nearby village and the rest of the grouper from yes. yesterday. What was your preparation of the grouper? I put so much stuff on there. I put <laughs> orange, lime, chili, pepper, salt, a little bit of honey, pineapple, chives, ginger, Love. garlic. Yeah, lots of stuff. It'll be good, that's for sure. Oh my god! I'm so excited, Chloe. Yeah, I'm so excited. I've been craving for it all night and it smells super good. Will, you did a great job! Oh, no. Everybody's got their snacks. How is it, John? Fine, very good. A good bonfire. I'm just catching the pig that wants to eat our food. <laughs> yeah, but she's not about rice. I think she, she knows that we eat better. <laughs> On our beach bonfires that we've had so far in Sofia, how would you rank it? Pretty high. Nice. Yeah, I would say a 10. Yeah. Because of the ukulele, because of the fire itself, because of the good self caught fish, because of the locals that joined us. Uh, yeah. Yeah, really good one. Are we all ready for bed? Yeah, I'm pretty tired. Yeah. Look at these shoes. Tune in next time for our trip through the crack, where we park Sylvia in one of her most beautiful backyards ever. Don't stop me from having a good time, having a good time. <laughs> Did you poop, honey, Peanut? She always poops every time she swims, she poops. Devil's Highway, Devil's Highway. Monterey. Devil! <laughs> Shocks. Manta, 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 Still in my boyfriend. Can you, can you see that? Oh, we got it on camera. We got it on camera. <laughs> Put a spot on her fat neck. <laughs> Poor piggy. Nugget. She turned away. You gave it for kiss. She turned away. Get you got her fat. You got her fat. You got fat. She is a big as a girl. Oh. Yeah. She peed on me the other day. Yeah. <laughs> She's working. <laughs> this means she loves you. Yeah. yeah. I'm a remain bitch. Hey. What do you want? Uh, what do you want? Hmm? In my head, I was seeing peanuts swimming with the <gasps> dolphins. Oh my god. That would be so cute. I have to go see it really quick. I just left the meal. <laughs> Woo! Uh, Eat the chocolate before we sink. We're worried about her little schnout getting sunburned. So we put a little bit of, it's like all natural sunscreen on her schnout. How do you look? Yeah. Mm. How do you look? Sometimes shit happens. Too many times shit happens. Yeah, even to peanut, huh? Shit happens, huh, peanut? On the deck sometimes? Yeah. <laughs> oh, what did you cut? A grouper. A what? A grouper. Grouper? Grouper. Grouper. Grouper, grouper. Wow, you got it in the eye. <laughs> <laughs>